Hi, my name is Meredith Nye. I'm a professor at Alabama State University, and I'm very excited to be teaching at the Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts Summer Camp. Today, we're going to be inspired by Anne Goldthwaite's um, print of a rooster. Um, so it's going to be a relief print that we're going to create on styrofoam um, printing plates. So, um, so that will be our first material that we're going to use. Um, we're also going to use for our printing um, process, we're going to be using um, relief printing ink, a foam brayer, and the brayer will roll out the ink, a piece of plexiglass to roll out the ink on, um, a wooden spoon, so the flat side of a wooden spoon will help us to transfer the image from the printing plate, the styrofoam print, printing plate, onto the printmaking paper. Um, we also have a pencil and an eraser for sketching to sketch out your design. Um, we also have uh, wooden styluses um, to create impression um, of your design in your styrofoam printing plate. Um, and this, for mine, I was inspired by um, in Gulf Weights. A uh, rooster that she did, but definitely be inspired by an animal you see around you, whether that be a pet, a bird outside, or an animal that you might look up um, on the internet. All right, so the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch on a piece of paper that's roughly the size um, of my styrofoam printing plate. So, um, Choose um, an animal that you can look at. It will help you to get some of the details. Um, if you can look at an animal, whether that be a pet um, or something that you look up, um, but it will help you if you can have some kind of visual reference to look at. Um, it's okay to go through a couple of different sketches if you need to make several different ones. Um, look at what you like and what you don't like. Um, but this is just the planning phase. Um, so feel free to use as many pieces of paper to plan out your print um, as you would like. Um, so I'm going to um, first spend a couple of minutes um, sketching out the rooster that I plan to use to create my relief print. So once I have created my sketch for my relief print, um, I have all the details that I wanted to include. I try to not include little tiny details that might get filled up, so the lines, little small lines. Um, once I transfer that to the printmaking um, plate, um, small lines, little fine details might get filled up with ink when I roll, um, roll over it with the brayer. So try to make sure that you kind of capture the essence, the key characteristics of the animal that you choose. Um, also note that everywhere that I drew my pencil lines, my sketched lines, are going to remain the color of the paper. So everywhere where I draw or push and create an impression in the styrofoam plate um, will remain the color of the paper and um, everywhere else, the background, um, everywhere where I don't push in will be the color of the ink. One last thing to note is that it will um, print in reverse. For most animals, my rooster including, I didn't really care if it printed in reverse, but if it does um, matter a lot to you, what you can do is you can draw, sketch it out in pencil first, and then take a marker and trace over your pencil lines. That way you'll be able to see the bleed of the marker on the back and you'll use the reverse image. That way when you print your image, um, if you use the reverse copy of it, and then it will print the way that you originally drew it. But for mine, it didn't matter to me, so I just printed it in reverse. All right, the next step that I'm gonna do, I have my sketch um, fully drawn out. I'm going to place it and position it on my um, styrofoam printmaking paper. 
Um, so I'm going to use that printmaking plate on the table. I'm going to position my sketch. I'm going to think about how I want to position that. And then I'm going to use a little bit of tape on all four of the corners so that it doesn't shift while I'm creating the impression of it. So I'm going to be pushing um, the wooden stylus all along the lines that I originally drew to create an impression, an indentation that I can feel on my styrofoam plate. So I'm going to tape down all four edges and that's just to make sure that it stays in place and it doesn't shift halfway through um, transferring the image. All right, now that it's all taped down, I'm going to use my wooden stylus. So the um, pointed end of the wooden stylus. And I'm going to go over all of my lines that I drew previously to create an impression through the paper um, into the styrofoam print making plate. All right, now that I've um, traced over all the drawn lines with my wooden stylus. I'm going to carefully lift up one corner to make sure that all my lines, um, that I actually did go over all my lines. And I missed one line right here, so I'm going to push it back, place it back down, and go over that small line that I missed originally. I'm going to pull up a little bit more and carefully check to make sure that I got all of my lines. And that time I did get all of my lines. So I'm going to put my sketch to the side. I'm going to go back over all my lines again with the wooden stylus to make sure that they're um, fairly deep. I don't want to push all the way through the styrofoam printing plate um, because it is relatively thin. But I do want to make sure that my lines are thick enough so that when I roll the ink over top of it, um, the ink won't just get stuck in those fine details, those thin little lines. So I'm going to go back over all of my lines and just make sure that they are um, thick enough, deep enough, and clean enough so that I'll get a good print um, later on. All right, now that I've gone over all of my lines um, a second time, so once with the sketching paper and once without the sketching paper, I'm going to run my finger over it and just make sure that I can feel all the lines. I want to be able to feel the texture of it. And that's a good indication that um, they're deep enough so that the ink will not get stuck in those lines. And it feels like I've done a fairly good job getting them uh, deeper, but I'm going to go over this little one that felt like it wasn't raised, that wasn't recessed enough. I'm going to get my printmaking paper which is roughly the size of the styrofoam printing plate. I'm going to get my ink. And sometimes the ink separates a little bit, so I'm going to shake it up a little bit and just make sure that it's um, a good consistency. And if it comes out a little bit separate, you can always um, just kind of mix it together with the, the brayer or the roller. So I placed um, a good amount of ink at the top of this plexiglass or plexi sheet. Um, and I'm going to use my foam brayer roller to thin the ink out and to make sure that I'm getting a good coverage across the whole entire brayer. Once your ink is a good consistency, um, you'll be able to hear this kind of sticky sound. Um, so right now the ink sounds like it's kind of sticky as I'm rolling over um, it with the brayer. And I'm going in different directions to make sure that I don't have any areas that have blobs of um, printmaking ink on the brayer. All right, so my brayer is loaded with ink and I'm going to go over my printing plate. I'm going to reload my brayer with more ink. And I want to be, um, make sure that I have full coverage of ink across my entire plate.
can be helpful to go across it in one direction. And if you notice any areas that look like they have less ink on them, you can go across them in an opposite direction. All right, so it looks like my um, sorry for printmaking plate uh, is covered with ink. Um, there are a few little lines that I'm just gonna clean up that ink did get kind of into them. So I'm just gonna quickly, because the ink will dry relatively quickly, I'm just gonna clean up a couple of those lines to pull out the ink from a couple of them. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my um, printing plate in a clean area and I'm gonna lay the paper over top of it. It's important to lay the paper over top of your styrofoam sheet so that it's easier to transfer the pressure so that you're not, that the printing plate isn't absorbing all that pressure that you're applying. So I'm going with the paper over top of it and I'm trying to line it up as close as possible. But once I lay it down, that's it. I don't wanna shift it and um, move the, the paper to get kind of a messy transfer. So I'm using the flat part of a wooden spoon. I'm trying to keep the paper um, roughly in the same place. And I'm doing small circles all around it on that flat side of the wooden spoon to transfer the impression that I created earlier. So this is a relief print, meaning that um, all of the recessed areas will remain the color of the paper. And I'm being careful at this point to make sure that I go over the entire um, image of the rooster that I, I drew so that I can make sure that I get a full transfer. So I'm getting all the corners, I'm making sure that I'm getting the middle detail. And I'm trying to hold my paper in place so that I don't get it shifting um, midway through my transfer. All right, I think that's fully transferred, but I'm just gonna pull up one edge to see. And my image did transfer well. And you can see now I have a copy of the design that I drew on the styrofoam printing plate. And you can notice that it is in reverse, but to me, it doesn't matter um, that the rooster is facing the opposite direction. I still really like it. Um, and all the recessed lines where I pushed in with my wooden stylus remain the color of the paper, and all the areas that are raised are the color of the ink. Um, feel free to be inspired uh, by what you see around you and um, to make multiples of these. This is the um, wonderful thing about having a printing plate is now you can make multiples of these. You can keep one for your room and um, have other ones to give as gifts.